Have you ever picked up a food item in your grocery store and read the label? Food labels are written in a completely different language, very scientific, but not very consumer friendly. Now for some it may just be a matter of inconvenience, but if you're one of the millions who have to live with food allergies, then not knowing what those labels mean could be a matter of life or death. That's why President Bush signed into law the Food Allergen Labeling and Consumer Protection Act. When 11-year-old Sam Gilman reaches for a snack, he knows what to do. Basically, you have to read it from bottom to top and backwards, because that way you concentrate word for word. And not miss even a trace amount of anything, because that could be deadly. You see, Sam has food allergies to peanuts, tree nuts, sesame and poppy seeds, and shellfish. I go into anaphylactic shock, and um, worst case scenario, I could die. Like others with life-threatening allergies, Sam has lots of an antibody called IgE. If he is even remotely exposed to an allergen, chemicals are released in the body that cause a frightening reaction. Difficulty breathing, swelling of the lips or the tongue, the throat. It can hit the gastrointestinal system with vomiting, cramping, diarrhea. You can have hives on your arms or all over your body. In severe reactions, it can cause a drop in blood pressure, loss of consciousness, and death. Sam is not alone. According to the Mount Sinai School of Medicine, five years ago, five million Americans suffered from food allergies. Today, the number exceeds 11 million. It's unclear why. One of the theories is that perhaps we've changed the way we live, our homes are cleaner, our immune system doesn't have anything to do, and for some people it's developing allergies. For those with food allergies, avoidance is currently the only option. This is okay. But avoiding allergens is not always easy. Sometimes it also involves learning a new language. For example, lactoglobulin and casein equal milk. Spelt and Satan, that equals wheat. The language they use, instead of talking English, they talk this fancy science talk. So confusing, in fact, that in March, legislation passed the Senate to force food manufacturers to more clearly label their products. Can you just tell me what's in the artichoke salad? Like many people, Sam and his family first learned about his allergies when he almost died as an infant. Today, they take no chances. We've been lucky. And we haven't had another incident like the first one where we've had to. But that doesn't mean you can relax your guard at any time. This good advice, good. because although researchers are working on an immunization, okay, no okay, cure exists as of yet. Salmon he used to eat. This law goes into effect January 1st of 2006. Now, researchers searching for a cure for food allergies are concentrating on immunization and something called anti-IgE therapy to block the uptake of allergens. But a solution is still very far off. For more information about food allergies, talk to your doctor or log on to the Food Allergy and Anaphylaxis Network at foodallergy.org. This year on our weekend away, Jane and I wanted adventure. I didn't want my asthma to hold me back. Bye. You wanna go where you wanna go. There's a different kind of asthma controller, Singulair. It's not a steroid. It's a once-a-day tablet that helps provide effective 24-hour control. And the same Singulair is also approved to help relieve a broad range of seasonal allergy symptoms. Singulair will not replace fast-acting inhalers for sudden symptoms. Continue taking your other asthma medicines unless your doctor tells you to stop or change the dose. If asthma symptoms get worse, contact your doctor at once. Side effects are generally mild and vary by age and may include headache, ear infection, sore throat, and upper respiratory infection. Ask your doctor about once a day Singulair. Asthma control that can help you breathe easier. So, what's the weekend to hold in store for you? Ask your doctor if a free sample of prescription Cialis is right for you. Cialis, are you ready?